Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising monthly tarot reading for October 2018 and while I'm doing the shuffling again I want to remind you guys that this is just a general reading for Scorpio star sign this is not your personal reading therefore uh, I'll explain you the meanings of the cards in their representative positions as well as the synergy in between them but it falls to you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation so uh, if you want me to do that for you then this is a, a subject of personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also if you find these reports helpful and you want to know more about your star sign specifically about your career and relationship throughout the month then um, there is a, a, a extended tarot reading, monthly tarot reading that focus specifically on career and relationship for the star sign and that could be purchased from the website for just $1.49. So going to the tarot spread first we do have a five card tarot spread, the first card there will be about the topic of Scorpio's month or their situation, how they're going to find themselves throughout the month. The second card is about the best course of action, what should be attended to immediately, you know, and, and in general, what intentions Scorpio should have throughout the month. The third card is about the challenges causing predicaments to Scorpio throughout the month. Fourth card is the resources Scorpio can rely on or in other words what will help Scorpio go more positively throughout the month. And the fifth card here is about the final outcome or what will be the result of all that. So let's see what Scorpio are going to face here. We do have the death card for the topic of the month. A, a very significant change is going to happen in Scorpio life either career-wise or relationship wise I can give you an example for myself guys and this change is changes is happening well it's gonna take place in October but uh, the start of the change happened right now well basically what happened is that my computer crashed my motherboard um, fried and um, simply I have to buy a new one and I already found what I'm going to buy fortunately it's going to arrive in a, in a week or two and it's going to tremendously increase the quality of the streams and the videos that I'm doing so that is a, a significant change in my career path also that could happen into your relationship in many form of manifestation you know if you are single this card here points you know and this is something significant in your life you know this card points that a new era is going to embark in your life where you can truly find someone that you can be with or if it is about your career and you are searching for a job this card points that you have a, a very big chances to find one all right the death card points that a uh, how can i place it a, a field in your life or rather uh, a thing in your life which is dead and, and doesn't benefit you any longer is going to completely uh, be wiped away so a, a room for new life can start in there a life for a new work for a new relationship you know or a new career path etc etc the death card here points that uh, in October things are going to shift in tremendous way in our lives and ultimately this is for the better because at the end here we do have the sun rising from the horizon which is in, in Taro is symbol of longevity you know happiness as well and um, and general vigor to uh, continue on with our lives with much more prosperity than before. So the second card here points to uh, the intentions we should have throughout the month. Knight of Pentacles because <clears throat> I'm jumping to that card straight away because nothing more can be said just generally for the death rather than the death is the ending and the beginning. The ending of something and the beginning of something new however that is going to totally replace what we have currently lost. I've lost my computer I'm going to replace it with a much better one. That is the point here guys and also there will be a, a tremendous benefits for all of us I mean me and you who are watching these videos because I will be able to bring you more quality videos with it 
Anyway, so Knights of Pentacles here. Uh, intentional wise, this card asks us to be very careful, systematic and methodical with our approach, to be rather meticulous when we attend into something that is concerning with that change here. Now this card points that at the, f uh, at the very first thing that we need to do here is to start making very simple and slow steps toward our future. Should that be a, a new relationship, we should not jump with it, uh, in it recklessly, all right? But we should rather take it slow and easy all right um, <clears throat> being simple with our approach not giving any uh, reason our new partner to doubt in ourself in our intentions you know and in general our standpoint toward the relationship itself every action that we ch we take throughout the month should be supported with the right convictions and should be supported as well with a, a strong determination that we are ready we Scorpios are ready to bring the job to its very end that will significantly boost the trust that other people have in you having us in you as well well and also throughout that is going to um, allow us to choose furthermore in which field of our life we are going to kind of sow any growth in it. The next card here is showing the, the challenges that is going to cause us predicaments. We have the hangman and the hangman points to delays, the hangman points to um, A dead end situations, uh, but this is a, a very superficial meaning of the card. Now, um, in a more profound state of the hangman, we do have a man hanging on a tree, looking the world upside down. So, why the man is looking the world upside down? Why the man is hung that way? Because looking at the world upside down you are obtaining a new perspective and this will be the challenge for us here a new perspective should i give myself for example well with this new piece of technique uh, of technique that i'm going to have you know a, a new gadget a new computer i should start doing a new things with it you know a new content for you guys because right now the career is everything that occupies my mind and uh, i should start bringing you new content with that card i'm it's, it's going to be difficult for me to systemize how to make it, you know, and what that should be. But definitely, uh, if I give myself, for example, here, I need to kind of like, you know, expand the varieties of a content that I'm giving you. And that will happen through me obtaining new perspectives. So this is what is going to you to find it challenging here, guys. Finding a, a different perspective upon the things that you are doing. And if we're following the example of the brand new relationships, this card here points that you should take the new relationship completely differently from the last one that you do have. And that immediately excludes comparing your new love part with your last love partner all right but that is in case we're talking about relationships if we're talking about a, a job you should stop comparing the current job that you have just found here in the month of October with the previous job that you either being fired from or you have either um, resigned from so this is going to be the difficult thing and it's kind of natural for us the human beings to compare what we have with what we could have or with what we had in the past all right but we need to be uh, totally uh, restrain ourselves from such kind of comparison because um, that way the hangman kind of um, manifest itself into the most negative aspect and it kind of sets out on every single undertaking that we do have in our lives uh, either because we are going to start lacking the means or because we are going to start lacking the uh, the eagerness to finish our job and then we do have the what will help us you know or what resources we can rely on here the temperance card points that we can rely on the resource of balance in this um, in this specific month with scorpio so first thing with this card is that uh, whatever we do Scorpios it doesn't look like that the things are going to be in such a bad shape that they can be irreversible so for what it seems we can uh, we can alter our situations in every single moment of their unfoldment also the temperance card points that we're going to face a lot of solidarity and a lot of understanding 
from the people around us. So we are seeing here that those predicaments and those delays will not be caused by uh, by people of uh, of our environment, but they will be mostly caused by ourselves and by by our unyielding standpoint. Also, the Temperance card is pointing that this month we are not going to find it aggravating to attend into certain undertakings which we are not finding interesting which will increase our productivity, especially job-wise, in a, a, a skyrocket uh, measures as well. And the last card here, it is what will be the result of all that. A very tricky card to be interpreted, the Four of Cups. So what we do have here is a consumption, uh, uh, a consuming of one's, uh, of one's effort. How the uh, Four of Cups is described is that one is sitting on the verge of their I cannot say victory, but this is the period right after the victory, all right, where one is still consuming the benefits of their victory, but yet one needs to kind of like define what one should do next, all right. So we are seeing here that we Scorpio are going to overcome this blockage of not being able to obtain a, a different perspective upon our things, all right. And even though we are kind of like attending to every chore here that we do have, at the end, while consuming all that, you know, we are going to kind of think of ourselves, well, how the hell I can improve myself even more? You know, what do I need to do in order to still kind of provoke a excitement in my life? Because at the end, even though we Scorpios are going to be very satisfied with the results of our labor and how the change take place and what will be the results of the change, etc., etc., uh, because we're going to satisfy it from that, this doesn't mean that we are going to find ourselves happy because we are still going to know that we can be even better, that we can do even greater things. And this is where the process of thinking how we can manifest ourselves in our lives so we can achieve even greater things starts at the end of October. So that being said, Scorpios, this was your monthly tarot reading of October 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was a general reading for Scorpio star sign. You know, this was not your personal reading, therefore, here I explained the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you guys to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, then this is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. If you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your star sign, specifically career and relationship wise, throughout the October 2018. Again, in my website, you can purchase for $1.49 the extensive monthly tower reading in which we are doing two separate spreads for career and for relationship specifically. So, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.